Yeah. I want to open up with a quote I found yesterday. I've been looking for a quote all week long, but I found one that actually fit with what I want to talk about. In our daily lives, we must see that it is not happiness that makes us grateful, but gratefulness that makes us happy. How many times do we think about that? <laughs> So I've come across a lot of tragedies in my young life, which led me to be able to stand before you today. I will be sharing with you some of the pains of some of my games. July 18, 1985, a little girl was brought into a world of unknown, starting in Greensboro, North Carolina. I couldn't see this at first, but I was blessed with an opportunity to explore other states. Due to my father's enrollment with the military, I have lived in Savannah, Georgia, started school in Germany, completed elementary in Lawton, Oklahoma, Completed middle school in Fort Stewart, Hinesville, Georgia, to return back to Greensboro, where I graduated from Northeast Gilbert in 2003. Awesome. <laughs> I have one older brother who is happily married with a four-year-old son who also resides in Greensboro, North Carolina. Growing up with him was a bit of a pain, but what older brother wasn't? He taunted me literally all the time. <laughs> he would blackmail me to his advantage, call me names, even tell me lies about where I came from. So there you have my first experience where low self-esteem will play its part in my life's journey. Now I'm sure he meant no harm at all, for all he was just doing his brotherly pain in the butt duties. <laughs> I love him ever so greatly for it. While his pain duties were always in effect, so were the ones endured by outsiders such as classmates and neighborhood jerks. I was born a natural redhead, which is a beauty in the eyes of the older and the mature. <laughs> Proud. My age group couldn't comprehend my simply unique brand. Neither could I. <laughs> With that, on came the names, the picking, the poking, the snickering, and the giggles. That was tough for my age. I just wanted to be popular, enjoyed, and accepted like others. But of course, it's not that simple, right? Mm -hmm. I can say now I'm thankful for them, too. My brother and I grew up closely knit together, so his torments became acceptable and comforting in many situations. There was pure love behind it all, especially when we had to deal with the domestic violence festivities brought on by our parents. Now, we not only know as children that our parents love us and supposedly each other too, though what we don't know are the sacrifices they make for us and suppressed emotions they bury just to keep our lives afloat. Oftentimes, now that it occurs, you get, what you, you get what we experienced, which are where the um, actual viewing of some minor physical abuse with, some, with a dose of verbal abuse here and there. When left unattended and nurtured properly, unnurtured properly, you could end up with some pretty devastating results. My parents passed away in a homicide turned suicide accident in 2005. Devastating, I know. But I found some great gratitude in that situation as well. Some years prior to their death, I was in a six-year relationship that was very much similar. Here's the gratitude. I was able to truly realize what it was and where it could lead. So thanks to Beyonce's song, all of his belongings were to the left. <laughs> Let's fast forward some years but before that incident. Between the ages of 12 to 5, my innocence was fondled with at the hands of three abusers. The first being a family member's boyfriend, second an older male cousin, last but not least, my father. That was the icing on the cake for a celebration ride on the damaged, raggedy roller coaster of many issues to come. You know, we watch shows like Ricky Lake and Maury and see girls on television sharing their experience, but never do we think it to creep into our own life. There I was, young, violated, damaged goods, left to grow and experience a life of further abuse by self and many others. No positive reinforcement on how to really take control of the situation then, except to enjoy the ride and act it all out with the aid of, drug, with the aid of drugs and alcohol. Through the years of further damage, I encountered a string of hurtful relationships with men, women, and family, as well as friends. My demeanor was overwhelming. You could put me in the category with the cute and innocent yet vicious pit bulls. <laughs> I developed my own protective service for self that played its part for the good as well as the bad. One thing is sure though, through it all, he protected me along the way. <laughs> in the midst of the journey, I graduated ECPI's Medical Careers Institute with an applied associate's degree in health science in 2009. Became a registered medical assistant through American Medical Technologies in 2010. Having tried to gain employment and failed, realization settled in that medical assistant wasn't for me. The blood, the needles, the unforgiving body waste, ew, <laughs> that was not my passion. My eyes were open to a bigger picture as I began walking in a different 
light of my story. One I didn't, one I didn't, let alone could imagine on my own. He's been that awesome to me. Simply Unique, my soon-to-be greatest game, is an organization that we're, and I say me and him, <laughs> we're crafting to reach, touch, inspire, and educate on abuse, with childhood sexual abuse being at the forefront. It would not be like your ordinary organization. It is a movement in progress as I'm being molded into this distinctive purpose. <clears throat> I have been blessed with an awesome circle of support and motivation as well as opportunities such as joining Toastmasters <laughs> to aid in my growth. Along the way, I have spoken in two empowerment events, my third approaching this week, Saturday, <laughs> as a motivational speaker. So hats off to Toastmaster for being right on time. <laughs> I, couldn't, I couldn't have or couldn't be doing this without the aid of the man above. And I had not given my life, had I not given my life to him, there's no telling where I would be. And I choose not to even thank or know for that matter. For all I know is, he is our creator, and we are simply unique because he made us that way. Therefore, I challenge you to step into or continue in your God-given, simply unique potential because we're worth it. So, persevere. All Thank right. You.